After that day, I am never walking alone in a forest again. So I was walking my dog Polly and we found ourselves alone in a cold, dark forest. I started to get a real bad shiver down my spine when I stumbled upon a mysterious red t-shirt laying on the ground with an old telephone hiding inside. You're not gonna believe what I got myself into because the things that took place for the next couple of days will haunt me for the rest of my life. Grab your popcorns because today's story begins with extremely exciting news. We just hit 1 million followers on TikTok. Yeah, let's go. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, awesome. <laughs> That is just absolutely insane and I want to thank you guys all so much from the bottom of my heart. Since it's Corona time, I didn't get to celebrate with my friends, but I did celebrate with my family. Both my sisters surprised me with a custom cake with my face on it and my face was everywhere. <laughs> was everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> My brother got me the ultimate ergonomic chair that I've always wanted. And my girlfriend went above and beyond and surprised me by getting these giant balloons spelling up the entire one million. It was absolutely beautiful and honestly, I feel so incredibly blessed and grateful for all the support. I posted a few pictures we took that day on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there and leave a comment so I know you're from my YouTube family. It's funny because my parents were incredibly confused when they saw the balloons. They thought I made a million dollars. I did not. I did not. I did not. <laughs> Nonetheless, they were very proud of me even though they had no idea what the celebration was for. To give you guys some context, for those who've been following me from the beginning, my day ones, comment below so I know who you guys are. You'll know I've been doing YouTube for over a year now and I've been keeping it a secret from my parents until I hit 100,000 subscribers. Then I can finally surprise them and prove to myself that nothing is impossible if you work hard and believe in yourself. My parents have done so much for me, sacrificed so much for my siblings and I. I will work my butt off no matter how hard it gets to get in the position where I can and finally give back to them because I wholeheartedly believe that if you have a dream, you fight for it. I may not be the biggest TikToker or the biggest YouTuber, but I can tell you one thing, I will never ever give up. It's crazy to think that nine months ago, I was working a job that I felt absolutely miserable in. I had zero followers on TikTok and I was struggling barely getting a hundred views on my YouTube videos. It wasn't until I looked back till I realized how far I've come. Fast forward today, we hit a million followers on TikTok and 80,000 on YouTube. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you guys so, so much. I never bring up these milestones to brag, but to show you guys that I'm just a regular guy. But I am living proof that dreams don't have to be just dreams. Keep going, keep pushing, and I promise you, a year, five years down the line, you will be glad you took a chance on yourself and wrote the story you want to tell. That being said, I really hope you guys stick around when we finally tell my parents the big secret. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I am telling you, you don't want to miss this. All right, now enough chibi chabber. Story time. Let's go. Today I found something that makes me never want to walk in the forest again. So I was walking my dog Polly and I noticed she picked up on this strange smell. We stumbled upon a forest where I quickly noticed a mysterious red arrow pointing downwards. I crouched down and noticed a creepy looking doll laying on the ground. Whoever made these markings must have done it for a reason because it wasn't long until I noticed some red string behind the tree. You're not gonna believe what I found. I crouched down and noticed some red thread buried in the soil. I followed the string and discovered a mysterious red t-shirt laying on the ground. As confused as I was, I examined the shirt in hopes of a clue for an explanation. I immediately felt something hidden inside. So I used my secret move, stuck my hand in and pulled out an old telephone. Holy bejeebies. I fast guy back home in a dust of confusion, desperate for answers. I decided to open up the back of the phone, remove the battery, and to my surprise, I discovered a hidden piece of paper with a date and location written on it. Meet on November 14th. Holy Jack in the Beanstalk. That was tomorrow. I entered the coordinates on the goggle, and it was only a 16-hour walk. So I packed the essentials, took a fat poop, and I was off. Minutes became hours, and before I knew it, I arrived at the location, and that's when I saw it. I noticed something in the corner of my eye that shook me to the core. I arrived at the location and noticed something in the corner of my eye. I threw my bag away for absolutely no reason and ran towards it. Super fast guy. Right away, I noticed something strange. It was a fake rock. I lifted it up and underneath was a mysterious code. Holy McDonald's Travis Scott Burger. What in tarnation was going on? So I decided to scan the code with my phone and a link popped up immediately. I clicked it open and an image of a little boy appeared along with a hidden message. I transferred the image onto my laptop, proceeded to reverse image search the photograph, and after watching all five episodes of Harry Potter, the results came back with zero matches. How is this possible? But more importantly, what does the message mean? 
So the audience told me the secret message was backwards. Using the knowledge of Dora the Explorer, I reverse scrambled it and read, I am Harriet Manning, please find me. I proceeded to goggle search the name and found an article dated on November 6th. Apparently, the little boy went missing over a week ago and was last seen holding a pink teddy bear and wearing a red t-shirt. Is it possible I stumbled upon evidence of a real missing persons? I decided to call the authorities, but right before I was about to dial the number, I received a terrifying text message. Don't dare call the Popos. I'm watching you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I have a very particular lack of skills. I will never be able to find you. But what I do have is Polly. We will look for you. We will find you. And we will fart on your face and take away your lunch money. There was only one thing left for me to do. The plan was to place this tracking device into my knapsack with the red t-shirt hanging out. I will then take this Chinese Rice crispy Square and place it inside to lure this mystery man out. For my final move, I will accidentally leave my backpack on this wooden bench. Now all we gotta do is wait. The next morning I woke up, I received an alert that the tracking device had been taken and was on the move. <laughs> My plan was an absolute success. I've got you now. Activate tracking sequence. Wait a second. This can't be. Alexa, activate the live feed on the tracker. There's no way. That's right outside my house. I quickly dialed 911 as I heard a terrifying scream upstairs. What's your emergency? There's a man inside my house. I hear him. He's coming for me. Please hurry. Turns out, the entire time I've been trying to solve a murder mystery that I've committed. Haunted by and drove to insanity by what I did a year ago. Struck in realization 
I picked up the phone to turn myself in. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello. I sacrificed so much for my siblings. <laughs> Okay, this story was cool and all, but the other day, the most insane thing happened today. So I was feeding my dog Polly, and I noticed she always knocks over her food on purpose. So I decided to check underneath her bowl, and to my surprise, I found a message that said, If you are reading this, you have been chosen. Almost immediately after, I hear the doorbell ring. I fast guy to open the door, and you're not gonna believe what I saw. <laughs> 